Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. Today we'll be talking about Pandas Multi-Index. The two data structures that you know, series and data frame, are basically used for one- and two-dimensional data respectively. But you can also use them with higher-dimensional data. It consists in creating several index levels within a single index. We call it multi-indexing. Let's jump right into an example. Here are the imports, and now suppose we have data concerning the sales by several companies in a city. We have the data for each company for two yearly time periods. So we'll start by creating a list of tuples where each tuple contains the name of the company and one yearly period. Then we'll create a list of the sales. To keep things simple, the sales will be in thousands. So if there is 450, for example, it means $450,000. Then we'll make a series object from the list using the tuples as indices. So have a look. Now here we can now print out the series object. And here we have the company A year 2018 and the sales. Company A year 2019 and the sales. We're only halfway there. Although you could use tuple indices like the ones above, it's not very convenient or efficient. So let's move on and create a multi-index. We already have the tuples, so we can use the from tuples method. So here's our multi-index. This is how we create it using the from tuples method. And now we have the following output. This is a multi-index. A multi-index contains several levels of indexing. In our case, there are two, the company names and the time periods. It also contains several codes, which are used to access the elements contained in the levels. Let's check them out. First, let's check out the levels. So here are the levels. Company names and time periods. And now, how about the codes? Here we have the codes. Now, if you have a look at the codes, you'll notice that if you take the elements from both lists in pairs, so the ones at the same positions in the two lists, you'll see how the pieces of data in the levels are related to one another. So, for example, the first pair is 0 from this list and 0 from this list. This means the first elements in both levels lists. So, company A, 0, and 2018, 0. So, this 0 refers to this, this 0 refers to this. The next pair is 0, 1, so 0, 1, which corresponds to 0, company A, 1, 2019. The third pair is 1, 0, 1, 0, which corresponds to company B at index 1 and 2018 at index 0, and so on. If you want to see the data in a hierarchical way, you have to re-index your data. So let's re-index our series object and print it out. We use the re-index method to do this. Fine. Now it looks much more readable. Now the missing data in some lines like here, here and here should be understood as the data in the line above repeated. So here company A 2018, here we have company A 2019 and so on. You can easily access the data using the multi-index. Here's an example. 
So all the companies for this year and the result is company A, B, and C and the values for year 2019, 211, 455, 655. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.